This is a comparison of the Russian MC-21 and the Chinese C-919 aircraft. Here, we are assuming that non-Western countries are expected to buy the aircraft. As non-Western countries look to expand their aviation capabilities, these two aircraft from Russia and China have emerged as viable options. In this video, we'll take a comprehensive look at the key factors that could influence a non-Western country's decision between these two aircraft. Let us start with the technical aspects. The MC-21 and C-99 are both narrow-body aircraft designed for short to medium-range routes. However, the MC-21 boasts a slightly longer range of 6,000 km compared to the C-919's 5,555 km. This extra range could be crucial for airlines operating longer regional routes. The MC-21 also edges out the C-99 in terms of passenger capacity, with its slightly larger fuselage able to accommodate more passengers. Additionally, the MC-21's extensive use of carbon composites in its wings and empennage contributes to a lighter airframe, potentially leading to better fuel efficiency. In terms of engines, the MC-21 offers flexibility with options for both Western Pratt & Whitney PW1400GM and Russian Evyadvigatil PD-14 engines. The C-909, on the other hand, currently relies on Western CFM Leap 1C engines, with a domestically produced engine, ACAE CJ1000A, potentially available in future variants. Now look at the certification and operational readiness. One key advantage of the MC-21 is that it has already obtained international certifications, allowing for smoother operations. The C919 is still in the process of certification, which could be a consideration for airlines. Geopolitical considerations are important, and both these countries are considered pariah countries by the West to a differing extent. Geopolitical ties and relations with Russia or China could play a significant role in a non-Western country's decision. Countries with closer ties to Russia might favor the MC-21 due to easier political navigation and potentially better support. Similarly, countries with stronger relations with China could lean towards the C919. Now let's look at the cost analysis. While official pricing figures are not publicly available, estimates suggest that the acquisition costs for both aircraft might be relatively similar. However, operational costs could be a deciding factor. The MC-21's lighter airframe and potentially more efficient engines could give it an advantage in fuel costs, especially for longer routes. However, maintenance costs are a crucial aspect to consider. For the MC-21, choosing the Western engine variant, Pratt & Whitney, could make obtaining spare parts and maintenance support easier in some non-Western countries. However, due to the sanctions imposed on Russia, this option might not be viable potentially leading to higher maintenance costs. The grey market may come into play here. The Russian engine option, the Aviadvigatil PD-14, introduces uncertainty around long-term maintenance costs and potential initial challenges with its service network. The C-99, if its future domestically produced engine proves reliable, could offer lower maintenance costs. But this remains to be seen. Financing options from Russia and China could also play a role in the overall cost analysis for non-Western countries. In conclusion, the MC-21 might be preferable for its longer range, larger passenger capacity, and potentially better fuel efficiency. However, the sanctions imposed on Russia could significantly impact maintenance costs and support for the Western engine variant. The C-99, while still in the certification process, could be an attractive option, depending on the performance of its future domestic engine, and potentially lower maintenance costs. Ultimately, the choice would depend on the specific needs of the airline, the country's political landscape, and a detailed analysis of the latest developments and cost factors. Now, which of the two aircraft do you think will be a winner in international market? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting subjects every day. Please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.